We stand and recite the entrance antiphon. The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead back your captives from everywhere. As we gather, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess, confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. At that time, Michael will stand up, the great prince who mounts guard over your people. There is going to be a time of great distress, unparalleled since nations first came into existence. When that time comes, your own people will be spared all those whose names are found written in the book. Of those who lie sleeping in the dusk of the earth, many will awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame 
and everlasting disgrace. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue as bright as the stars for all eternity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Our response is, Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved no decay. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. All the priests stand at their duties every day, offering over and over again the same sacrifices, which are quite incapable of taking sins away. Christ, on the other hand, has offered one single sacrifice for sins, and then taken his place forever at the right hand of God, where he is now waiting until his enemies are made into a footstool for him. By, by virtue of that one single offering, he has achieved the eternal perfection of all whom he is sanctifying. When all sins have been forgiven, there can be no more sin offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after the time of distress, the sun will be darkened, the moon will lose its brightness. The stars will come falling from heaven, and the powers of the powers in heaven will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then, too, he will send the angels to gather his chosen from the four winds, from the ends of the whole, from the ends of the world to the ends of heaven. Take the fig tree as a parable. As soon as its twigs grow supple and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. 
So with you, when you see these things happening, know that He is near at the very gates. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all these things will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But as for that day or hour, nobody knows, neither the angel of heaven nor the Son, no one but the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After hearing today's gospel, well, you know, we can rightly be afraid because it speaks about a tragic end. The world will come, you know, will, there will be a time of distress. Now the sun will be darkened, the moon will lose its brightness, stars falling and all this. This vision is very bleak. And it speaks about the end. And yes, we can be afraid. But, you know, the reason, the purpose of today's gospel was not to frighten people. Mark, when he was writing to his audience actually was trying to encourage his audience. Why are they encouraged? Hearing the end and all that? They are encouraged because it would be the time to meet the Lord. The early Christians hoped to see the second coming of Christ. The early Christians had this hope that they will go to the Father's house. They will go and meet Jesus. And so they were ready to meet the end. So, you know, when we are afraid, it could also mean that we are not ready to meet the end. But the main thing is, it is encouraging us. Today's gospel is trying to encourage us to realize that we, the blessed hope that we are waiting for will come. The blessed hope is that we will go to heaven. And that time will come sooner or later. But it will come. And God will give us our reward. That's the hope we cherish. That's the hope we carry. And this is the hope we speak of every time when we say about the blessed hope. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, as we come close to the end of the liturgical year, that's why the reading starts to change. It speaks about the end. We need to ask ourselves, are we ready to meet the end? Are we ready to meet our Maker? Are we ready and are we happy to be able to meet the Lord? This is the question it is asking us. This is the question also, you know, Jesus is saying when he speaks about the parable about the fig tree. The parable about the fig tree is about you know the signs of the time. You know when summer is coming. You know this is going to happen when that happens. 
you are able to see. Now, even like now, we are able to predict, oh, if this thing happened, then what? Maybe what? Stock market crash. If, uh, like not too long ago, if the Prime Minister comes out wearing pink and then that's it. We predict. We know how to see the signs of times. We know how to interpret things. But how come we cannot see the signs of the time that the Lord is coming and that we need to be prepared? You know, the pandemic shows us that how unprepared we are. How unprepared we are to meet the Lord. Things happen and then we are all frightened. And then we get paranoid. And we are afraid that we are going to die. So much so that some people lock themselves up. So the question is, are we ready? Are we ready to meet the Lord? Are we happy, you know, to receive the blessed hope that is heaven? So my dear brothers and sisters, today let us reflect and let us ask ourselves, are we ready for the Lord? Do we have that blessed hope, the realization that we will all one day go and meet the Lord and that we are ready to meet Him happily, that we are ready to receive His embrace? Let us stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We lay our petitions now before the Father, who gives us refuge and peace. Our response is, Lord, Hear our prayer. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Catholics, that we will honour Christ's redemptive sacrifice by regularly celebrating the Eucharist and preparing spiritually for his second coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all world leaders, that they will shoulder the responsibility of caring for the victims of conflict, crime, injustice, 
and natural disasters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those living in poverty and all those in need on this world day of the poor, that all nations will generously provide them with the basic necessities, employment, and the resources to lead dignified and productive lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our children receiving their first Holy Communion this weekend, that they will grow strong in faith and their love of God, revere his presence in the Eucharist, and always desire to receive him with joy and a clear conscience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For us parishioners, that as we commemorate Catholic 200 SG, we will serve God with true gladness and constancy by devoting ourselves to missionary and evangelizing works. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, sanctify us by your grace and help us to live as your chosen people every day so that we may experience the fullness of joy in your presence when your Son comes again. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through Him and with Him and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion anthophon together to be near god is my happiness to place my hope in god the lord
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly employing, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.